Yo, say ho, welcome back to K. Those reacts facts, man. We got Devontae back in the building with anime, not so chill, bro. No, not so chill means it's, it's kind of crazy, man. Thumbnail had a girl with a sword, so I'm assuming Shorty went crazy. We'll see what he's talking about. Uh, seems like a date gone wrong, you feel me? When anime is on, y'all gotta chill out, you feel me? Unless you kicking your pimping, you feel me? So we're gonna see what, what he talking about today, man. And for y'all key, I help a brother out by liking, commenting, and subscribing, man. Roll to 500 subscribers. We got a little, what, 340, I think. 340 something. You feel me? Setting the goal. Goal is 500, man. It's 500. I'm rolling to 500. Help me get up there, man. Keep supporting. Keep liking. Keep commenting. All that good stuff. You feel me? Video will be linked down in the description. You can find my social media accounts as well. You know what it do. We're going to get straight to it, man. Let's go. Hope y'all enjoy, man. Really good. So, I love anime. Die hard anime fam. Love anime since I was a kid. Before it was cool to like anime. And still to this day. Mainly because anime taught me many... Well, y'all ever found it so funny that now everybody want to like anime and shit? It wasn't to like Megan the Stallion and all of them start talking about they like anime. Now everybody want to watch anime. Don't nobody know nothing about Toonami. Don't nobody know about uh, Anime 9 and you know all the websites and all that shit, bro. Don't nobody know about nothing. They just now want to jump on the bandwagon because they seen some girls with some anime uh, merch on. And now they want to act like they like anime and been liking anime. So they only watch the top ones and not actual anime you feel me like man you wasn't with us shooting in the gym we'll find y'all some real hobbies man. some different hobbies quit quit jocking all the ones that you see a pretty girl doing man. find y'all some real hobbies that you really like to do and quit faking it because real anime watchers know certain ones you gotta watch and dub because the actors are tough Lessons makes me feel every emotion plus the story and the characters from each show resonate with me in ways I can't explain and since I'm a 90s baby I grew up watching all types of 80s 90s and early 2000s and beyond anime growing up Yeah, I done seen it all bro. The good side the dark side the really dark side the weird side <laughs> the Really weird side of anime. Yeah, we we're not gonna talk about that one bro. them freaky ass anime Hey, comment down below if you seen high school DST <laughs> Or School of the Dead. Is it School of the Dead? Yeah, School of the Dead. School of the Dead or High School DSD or them type or them type of animes. If you know, you know. You can see it all over my shorts videos. I reference anime all the time on my long form videos. You can even see my anime posters on my wall. I only got like four posters up because I was too lazy to put the rest up. But it's fine. I'm going to put the rest up later on. <laughs> in real life swords from mini anime in my house. Oh yeah, I get down my boy like got that. the collection back there, bro. The Demon Slayer. What a motherfucker, uh, I can't even rest, I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, them hard back there. Legal blicks ain't the only thing I collect. And to top it off, pause, 99% of my community, the Mellow Mafia, aka DTO, love anime too, which makes my job a whole lot more fun. People that don't watch anime like we do and wonder why we love it so much, you won't understand unless you try it out. If you're trying to get into anime though, start off with some good ones though, like Samurai Shampoo, that time I got reincarnated as a slime, you Haka Show. Samurai Shampoo and you Haka Show. That's what I'm saying. Like, y'all didn't even watch it when it was on like. Cartoon never late at night, bro. Like, them was the classes, bro. Oh, my God. Gone or even cyberpunk edge runners. Y'all ain't ready for the ones that make us look bad. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> anime can either bring people together or tear people apart. Which is exactly the two situations I've been put in a bunch of times being in the anime community. One brought together moment in particular was last year with this girl I met at the bookstore. But not in the way you think we got brought together. Oh, yeah. This was dip. So one day, my older brother called me from his old job at the hey, retro... Hey, yo, not the booty scratch. ...game store while he was on break to tell me that he had some old school game systems that I would probably be interested in buying for my office room at my house. Because he knew I was big on collecting old school game consoles I grew up with and everybody before me grew up with. Huh. Gotta show little Johnny in the future the struggles of keeping my memory card safe, blowing on the game cartridge when the game would freeze, <laughs> wiping down the PlayStation 2 disc with alcohol when the system would freeze at the startup screen, you know? He said they got a Nintendo 64, a Wii, a PSP, a Game Boy, a Game Boy Advance, an Atari, a GameCube, 
GameCube, a 3DS. God damn, they got all the classes. I had the GameCube. Uh, I had the, I had the DS, not the 3DS. I know people that had the Wii. I've played other people's PSP. I think I had one of these at a point in time. I don't remember. I don't remember. I gotta think. PlayStation Vita, Sega Genesis, Nintendo DS, a Sega Dream. Told you that DS boy. And a PlayStation One and Two. I told him, give me them all. I'm on my way. So I drive <laughs> up there to get everything. Then I lead back to the crib. But before I got back to the crib, I stopped by Books a Million to get some manga. As I'm walking to the bathroom before I get my books, I pass by this girl that has sapphire red locks, which instantly caught my eye. Cause women with locks and fros are in my variety, and women I'm a sucker for it. Cause duh. Shit, the red locks should have told you something. Any girl with red hair is trouble. We we know we know this, bro. It's unspoken rule. She got red hair, she don't care. God damn me. <laughs> Look nice, they're natural, and I got locks. So I walk over to Shotty, compliment her hair, you know, ask for her name. She told me her name was, can't use her real name, we're just gonna call her Ruby. I said, oh snap, your name sound like someone from one of my favorite animes called Ruby. Her response was, I don't watch anime. My wee wee went from wow to uh. Which is fine, I guess. You don't gotta like it or watch it. But I just hate the fact that she missing out, bro. She was one of those girls that watched freaking Euphoria basketball wise, which instantly made me want to freaking vomit. Oh, uh, yeah, she a red flag walking. So you watch nothing but reality TV and you got red hair. The flags was there, my boy. You just didn't want to listen. She must have had that thing going on, Granny. But there's way better entertainment out there than. Whatever, bro. Anywho, so after <laughs> holding in my piss for a good 30 minutes because I was conversing with her, Ruby actually turned out to be really mid. Her personality was okay. Her ability to hold a conversation was I, which added to my wee-wee wanting to go to sleep. The only thing that kept me talking to her was when she brought up the fact that she was really into basketball, which I used to be heavily into hooping back in high school. Not no more these days since my NBA dreams were cut short. Literally, it's fine. It's fine though. I really could have been that guy shooting three pointers in the NBA like the sniper I am, but I let Curry had it. You feel me? <laughs> I'm shooting yeah, three pointers at these women now <laughs> and missing. Now, for some weird reason, Ruby was really hell bent on one v one in me, which I took her up on her offer, even though I ain't played in years. Under one condition, she had to try anime out first, and surprisingly, she agreed. Under another condition of her own. Her condition was that she and I watched anime for the first time together. <laughs> I'm like, say less. I got my own place, so it wasn't nothing for me to agree. But this time, instead of going for the three-point shot, I took the friendly approach. Looking at yep, it. Just two about to be friends, hanging out, watching anime. Yeah. So boom, the next day, I spent all day cleaning up my house. Because, duh, whenever you got somebody coming over, regardless of the matter, you got to make sure your house clean, clean. Not clean, clean, clean. If it smell like bounce that back in there, I'm cooked. I miss one dirt stain, it's wraps. She see one roach, I'm done. So later that evening, she make it to the crib. She looking around like the health inspector. I'm sweating bullets because I forgot to dust the house. But surprisingly, she ain't tripped about it, so I calm down. She go to the couch, I go to the kitchen, and right when I ask her if she's hungry, she interrupt me. She like, oh. You uh, have a sword. Because she saw my life-size version of Kirito's Elucidator sword sitting right next to my TV. Yes, it's real and very sharp. I'm like, yeah, I collect a little bit. I only get ones from my favorite anime, though. She like, oh, you collect them. Interesting. Can I see more? I'm like, uh, sure. So I took her to the, oh, the office where I do all my YouTube pictures, <laughs> etc. As soon as she see my entire collection of weapons, my swords, my kunais, my shurikens, everything, she get, like, real quiet. Bruh, tell me why old girl did a full 180 in personality immediately. Her personality went from mid to mysterious real quick. She like, Devontae, I got something to confess. She picks up the katana, unsheaths it, and says, actually, I do watch anime. A lot. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Bruh, my hands started shaking. See, yeah, see what happens when you uh, dodge the red flag? You didn't even have to lie. You could have said, yeah. Could have been set this up, man. That was the point from the get go. You knew this. <laughs> Just wanted to be funny. <laughs> stripper on the first day on the job not because i was mad which i wasn't i actually was relieved she watched anime kind of turned on but because i was nervous because she was handling that sword like she knew what she was doing i'm like so why you said you didn't yesterday she gonna hit me with the i just wanted to see how you would react what the 
is wrong with you? I ain't even have time <laughs> to care about the reason behind the cap. Because she kept swinging that sword like she knew what she was doing. The only thought running through my mind was, what she do on her spare time when she not watching anime? Because she's swinging that sword like she preparing for Order 66. Like, dang, Hisoka, put down the lightsaber. She swung one time made me jump she swung two times i'm sweating like an egyptian slave she spit the sword around her body then swung two more times i almost pissed my pants i'm like oh right, uh, right. yeah she be practicing at home on god she got one of them little foam swords and she be going crazy she just got the real thing right now <laughs> think you do a little more than watch a lot of anime she like you might be right about that now i'm nervous i'm like look that's sharp if you gonna swing a blade pick up a doll one please at least it'll hurt less if i get hit and that's exactly what she did she didn't even say nothing back she just picked up two blades checked that they were dull confirmed it then slid one of the blades over to me and said <laughs> pick it up i'm like did you just reference puss and pick it up the little me's in my head was like, Mayday, Mayday, this woman is crazy. <laughs> like at that point, I knew she was dead serious. At least they were the, at least they were fake ones. If it was real, oh yeah, she would have to go. <laughs> Get this shit. She gotta go. No, hell nah. It's crazy. They, they, they crazy bitch outside again. <laughs> hell nah. But I wasn't really rocking with it because. I just wanted to chill like bro i brought you over to watch anime not enacted she like forget basketball this is our 1v1 now i think you're porn playing <laughs> on come on are you gonna fight me or not I knew this girl was about to cut my back meat off because she was swinging that sword like a samurai master, which was really cool, yet also terrifying in my eyes. But I risked it anyway because I kind of got competitive in the moment and I thought to myself, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, like the worst question you could ask is what's the worst that could happen? Because we about to find out. <laughs> Let's just hope she ain't put that motherfucker where the sun don't shine. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's crazy. She turned to Nazuro when she saw them swords. Boy, she was ready to shake, 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 shake. She was ready to dice some shit up in that motherfucker, boy. She thought she was in the chop suey, stupid ass. Goddamn me. I don't know why she lied, though. Who could have been like, shit? Yeah, from time to time. Some. No lie, just you come over Nick Craig. These girls think they the new nigga so bad, bro. Anime not so chill by the Vontato one. Yes, sir. All right. <clears throat> Ladies, man. How y'all feel about anime? Fellas, how do y'all feel about anime? Do y'all have a crazy anime watching story and with a person you was interested in? Let me know down below. Or just a funny anime story in general. Uh, it could have been when you was alone, parents walking in at the wrong time, because some animes definitely be, you feel me. Uh, <laughs> you know, things of that nature, you feel me. So let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe for me. Post notifications, all that stuff. Follow my socials down below. Follow, the, Subscribe to Devontae the One as well. The video will be linked below so you can check him out. All right. And without further ado, man, I'm heading out. I hope y'all enjoyed, man. I'm gone. Peace.